Hi, I'm Steve with Brownells, and today we have a brand new product from Sig Sauer. And with me to introduce this product, I've got Pete Howell from Sig Sauer. Pete, good morning. Nice good morning. to see you. Thanks for having us over here. So I've got what looks like a very sophisticated optic here. What am I looking at? You know, it's sophisticated, but it's not. It's easy to go with. This is our new Sierra 3 BDX system, which is BDX is our new reticle and data exchange system essentially or ballistic data exchange is what BDX stands ballistic for. Ballistic data exchange. Ballistic data exchange. So it's super easy to run. So essentially now you can put in your ballistic profiles like you did on our Kilo 2400 and have the ease and the simplicity of running it now in all of our range finders, our BDX systems. So we have a Kilo 1400, a Kilo 1800, a Kilo 2200, a 2400 BDX and then our Kilo 3000, which is our range finding binocular. Okay. Um, the biggest thing, it sounds like it's a whole bunch of stuff it does. in one. It's kind of overwhelming. But we'll go over it and make it easy for you. Cool. All right. So the first thing you'll do is uh, you'll download our app from uh, your App Store or Google Play or however you do Hopefully it. Hopefully everybody knows how to download an app by now. Yeah, we're I getting there. Um, and then, you know, the unique thing about this whole system is you don't need both of them but it works best if you have both of them okay. together. So essentially you'll have your range finding system here. Um, you'll pair it. Your Bluetooth device is gonna scan for your uh, Kilo right. range finder. You'll see your numbers at the bottom of the range finder here. You just uh, correlate the number with the one that you see, hit it and check bonding. And once you do that, these two will be bonded together. When you bond the two uh, range finders together in the phone, this will give you a pin number. You simply enter your pin number and that'll make it so nobody can hijack your rangefinder essentially. Right. If you're on the range and you have eight other guys running a BDX system, you don't have to worry about that oh, anymore. Oh, like with RC airplanes or something, you just don't Correct. want interference. Yeah, so okay. you won't have anybody doing that. And the same thing goes for the scope. You'll see the, the Bluetooth come up and you'll see the serial number which is on the back of the scope right here. Mm -hmm. uh, you just correlate that with the gun that you're having on. So you'll see uh, this is a CR3 BDX uh, 0048. So you just hit that, you'll bond the two of them together, and now these two are, are, are linked together. So another unique thing about this is you can go in here and manually adjust your wind setting once you do it. Um, you can physically change it on the fly or do however you want to do it. Um, as soon as you change your cha make your changes here, you just rearrange your target, and then it'll give you the new holds with uh, okay the uh, adjustments that you've so made. So you can put in, in wind speed and direction? You can do wind speed and direction. Another cool thing about this app is um, you can go to your temperature button right here and if you have cell coverage you can hit your, uh, the radio button right here okay. and they'll download all the latest weather data from the nearest oh, radio station nice. or from the nearest weather station you have and you can also nice. do the same thing with the altitude button and it'll get your GPS readings and give you your altitude and make your correlations that way as well. Okay and that goes into your ballistic calculations goes, uh, and automatically shows up? Yep, as soon as you make an adjustment here, you just rearrange and it'll correlate all the new data in here instantaneously. With the Kilo BDX system, this rangefinder talks to your phone, but it also talks to your scope. So now when you have your ballistic data plumbed into this, you can range a target now, and with the gun that you have that you're using and all the ballistic data in it, it'll tell you where to hold for point of impact okay. on this. You simply bring your dial up, or your point of impact, your yellow dot on that, they call it connect the dot, so that's what we're calling it. All right. Connect the dot, you put the dot on the spot, and pull the trigger. If you have a wind hold in there, you can set your wind hold instantaneously as well this way. Um, and they'll give you two, uh, there's 18 um, wind hold icons on the oh, left lot. and right stadiums, yeah. and that'll tell you, just correlate where the point of impact is on the bottom lower stadium and then your wind hold you just correlate the two of them and pull the trigger. So let me let me make sure I understand this. This yeah. gives you the range. That gives you the range. It goes to the phone. It goes to the phone. The phone the phone takes the range, adds the weather to it, the wind, temperature, the bullet you picked out, mm -hmm. the velocity you're you're shooting it at. Yep. And makes all the calculations and then just puts the dot in the right part of the reticle. Correct. But Here's the other thing too, is once you're in the field and you've already inputted all your data into here, right. you no longer need to have your ring, your phone with you oh, anymore. okay. You're done with it. Okay. All you need to, essentially is if you want to do your weather and your and whatnot, you can do it that way, but essentially you just use this to put in your ballistic data into okay. here and then you're Good. done with that. So you only need the phone like if you need just something for setup. For, from data. Yeah, so if you have a failure or something like that, your battery goes flat sure. in the hills when you're hunting or when you're out doing your target shooting, 
you don't have to worry about it because if you have the rifle that you're going with and the scope and everything correlated here, that's all you need well, anymore. Couldn't be simpler then. Yeah. You just got one piece of equipment here and then the rifle and then you're done. It's pretty awesome. Now this, this all sounds, you know, like a lot's going on, but really when you're out on the field making the shot, it doesn't take any time at all, does no, it? No, uh -uh. and we can see as soon as you range and target now, how instantaneous this is. As soon as you range it, you'll see this blue light flashing and it goes solid. Uh -huh. When it's blue, when it's flashing, I'll do it again real quick. Um, essentially, it's uploading the data, and as soon as it goes solid, it'll tell you that you have your your new hold in there. It's a lot faster than having your buddy give you the yardage and you looking up and turning your dial and turning it back and getting it right. Exactly, and faster than you dialing, and getting back into your physically hold doing it. Yeah, you're in your scope the whole time. Your partner ranges it. It goes up and down, gets its hold spot, and goes from there. Another cool attribute that we have on this thing is called our digital focal plane. So if you're running this thing at a 4.5 power and you range a target and then you run your power up, it'll automatically adjust your holdover point inside your scope for you. Okay, digital so focal plane. Digital focal plane. I'm, I'm familiar with first and second focal yeah. plane, but I've never... So now we have a digital focal plane. Wow. We've stepped it up for you. It's super easy. When you look in the scope, it makes a ton of sense. Um, and we'll show you how that works and you'll see it in the videos as well, but and this it's is, pretty this is cool. Sophistic. This is like, uh, you know, something you target enemy tanks with or something. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this, is, this is really cool. This will have a lot of attributes and, and, and applications throughout m most the entire field of the shooting network. Um, you can use this in PRS shooting. If you don't have a rangefinder or if you have no distances on multiple targets, right. you can go into this site application of your app and just put in uh, you've got eight different sites or uh, targets that you can put the, the numbers in or the oh, ranges in for okay. so I can go in here if I'm in a PR setting and I have targets or a three gun setting uh -huh. and I know my distances I can essentially go into here turn on my ballistic reticle um, and then go back and now I can highlight all my target points Oh. And it'll give me all my dots in here. So if you look at this scope now, you'll see there's multiple dots in there. There are. And I can take them away or add them as I choose. I can pull in no distances. So instead of saying right. a 300 gone, yard, right? a 325, hit done. And I can turn them all on again and go from there. So you can oh, manually change your numbers. So if you're in a PRS shoot and you have a target at 255, 378, 495, 525, 600, you just put those numbers in here and remember what holds they are. So when you're shooting them in order in your PRS stages, you can pull up, hit them, switch the next one, hit oh, wow. it, go to the next one, hit it. Uh, it's also too, if you don't have our um, BDX range finder and you have our, another one of our range finders, you can range a target and say, okay, your target, you can turn all your other radio buttons off and say this target is now at 550. Um, hit done and I'll move the dot. So now, obviously you don't need a range finder, but it's easier with a range finder to do it, but you can range the target and then just correlate it to your phone and it'll talk right there and go from there. So a string of aiming points, custom aiming points for yep. individual targets, yep. all preset to your specs. Yeah. Just the way you like, man. That's, and the coolest that's thing with this is now you can really see your uh, ballistic data reticle or your digital focal plane. Uh -huh. You can run it now and you'll see how those numbers grow in relation to your power settings. So run your power ring and you'll see now oh. how a digital focal plane works. Oh, yeah. They're spreading out. Yeah. Nice. So as you run your power zoom, it'll take that algorithm and correlate to where those points are as you run your focal So now plane. I don't have to hold half a line one way or the other? No, there's no more holding six inches over no. something's back anymore. Okay. We can set up um, a profile if you want to. You can sure. kind of click and play, see how easy it is. You essentially need your bullet data, your muzzle okay. velocities, and your sight in height. That's all you need to do now. So, yep, new profile, go to library, Let's pull your see. bullet out, your 30, or, are you running a 28 nozzle? Uh, 257. 257. I, sh I shoot a 257 Roberts. Okay. And I've got a, uh, let's see, 117 grain SST is what I normally shoot. Okay. And that is traveling right about, right there, about 3,000 feet a second. Perfect. 29, 30, 29, So. Okay, now what do I do? Now all you do is, now you put all of your ballistic data in here. Right. Uh, zero range is 100 yards. You just name it. Okay. On the new profile page right here. Just put your name in there. 
won't do that. And then you know, if you grab that rifle out there, all you have to do now when you go to your gun profiles and and you have your BDX scope on that uh, your 257 Roberts, all you need to do is uh, bond it to that scope and then upload your profile to it and then you're done. Sweet. Boy, that'd be nice because usually I hold myself to like a 200, 250 yard shot because mm -hmm. I'm using like, uh, you know, a four power scope. Yeah. With something like this, I'd feel confident going well beyond that. Yeah. So now the I bullet mean, will do it. I'm just not sure about me. You can do it with practice and play, you know, yeah. practice is everything. So, and this is, you know, the cool thing about this is allow guys to go out there and like you said, you're not comfortable shooting past right. that far. Now you can go to the range and range your target at 500 yards or 550. And you can see where the hold is, come up there and hold. It gives you a lot more confidence in what you're doing. You're aiming you, at a specific point. Exactly, you're getting a specific point. There's 78, like I said, 78 um, points of hold inside the reticle that you can choose from. And I think the MOA variance is like 0.15 variant. So you're gonna have minimal amount of air as far as you know up and down values of what your actual hold is inside the reticle. So if I want one of these wonderful systems, how are they sold? How do so, they come? So most people are gonna buy this as a kit. Okay. You buy the rangefinder and the, uh, the scope together. Right. And you have, I mean, a rough guess how much you figure. Just seeing the system new, how much you figure? I don't know, a couple thousand to yeah. start with. Uh, that would be, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So this kit here is gonna be essentially $9.99, but we have kits starting from $7.99 and go to $13.99 as far as price point goes. Wow. With the range finder and the, and the scope. What kind of a scope? Uh, w which one is this one? So this is a 4.5 to 14. We have two different objective lenses we can do with this one, a 44 and a 50 millimeter objective. Mm -hmm. We also do a 3.5 to um, 10, and then a 4, or 6.5 to 20 with a 52 millimeter objective. Do you mix and match range finders with scopes, or how does that work? One range finder, once you get this, will talk to our entire scope line. So ideally, you can get one range finder and you can put a BDX on every one of your guns. Oh, nice. At that price, you know, I think I could. Yeah, we're in that price point now. Where, and and where, where people are spending on scopes right now, we're at that price point where it's not, you're not gonna kill the bank account right. to go purchase a new scope to put on your gun. Right. Peter, thank you very much for coming by. Thank you, Steve. It was a good I time. really enjoyed it. Yeah. And you'll find the full line of BDX products at Brownells, where it'll be backed by our 100% unconditional forever satisfaction guarantee. Thanks for coming by.